Hi and hello, let's play fans, it's your old pal Berg787, back with a brand new episode of our Sid Meier Civilization 5 Brave New World Deity playthrough with Babylon. It's uh, been about a week actually since I last recorded an episode after that initial sort of six episode run, so we're on to episode seven. Um, we'd like to thank uh, a couple of people, especially for taking an interest in and offering some uh, really sort of uh, creative advice, obviously people who know what they're doing, the likes of, you know, Bruin Bound, who's uh, commented quite a bit, and obviously I do take on all the... Uh, advice that I get from people who quite clearly have played at this level. Um, also people like William Meyer and Doc Sardo as well. Uh, again, I can't instantly implement a lot of the advice because, you know, I've recorded quite a few episodes in advance, but, um, you know, it's still fully appreciated uh, and it will be taken into consideration, obviously, for future series that I do as well, especially the early start advice uh, and in general stuff that I can take on board you know for later in this specific series so i want to just thank you all guys again and everyone else who comments regularly on my channel like you know digital drew razamir um sc gaming um I'm just trying to think hardy man you know all people like yourselves uh, if i've missed someone out uh, australia uh, austrian Roo, uh, yeah there's a bunch of you i know i've missed a couple of you out and i really apologize send me a message say listen you dick why'd you miss me out and i'll uh, i'll rectify that but anyway as you can see here we are bottoming pretty much everything, apart from approval, we're seventh. But that's to be expected. We're going to make our way back up. Uh, I can't remember exactly what I was doing. Uh, units and you do need orders, so you're just doing nothing there. Um, you might as well just go about spamming out mines and shit like that. I will need that at some stage. And we'll go to next turn. Should have actually checked what everything was working. That was probably the next move before we, when you start up a new session. Got astronomy. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we were working on getting our observatories, which we're going to be having in two turns. That's going to be all done. Yeah, so that's what I primed everything ready. That's right, to have stuff ready to be done for two turns later so I could get all the observatories. That's going to help me out so much. Obviously, it adds a, a science boost. 50%, yeah. Mega. Oh, has it ended at the end of that turn? That seemed a bit weird. Um, just go to city management. You working all the best tiles? It's given me enough for pop yeah population boost in two turns, so yeah, that's all fine. Uh, you are working one tile in the university as well, which is good. I need as many great scientists as I can get. You uh, workshop is giving me the production boost. I don't really care about that, so get on the university. That would help me more. Yep. Again, want as many great scientists as possible. And you, you do kind of need that popular, that, well, it's not that much of a boost. It will help a few things get done a turn quicker, but it would be better to obviously get that great scientist quicker as well. So, okay, I prefer all that. Next turn, come on, one away from astronomy. And those key, key, key cogs in my research plan, the observatories. Who would have thought an observatory would give you so much science? I mean, I've been in an observatory. Didn't give me any science when I was there. Um, Sydney, what, have I just discovered them? Where are they? Oh, just jumped out all the way over there. So there we go, astronomy. I'm in a new era, the Renaissance era. Fantastic, Sydney. Uh, your allies with them. All right, excellent. Close. Right, and we've got a scout. That's right, because we need to send our scout to do, obviously, scouting, because we are... Uh, you know, 6, uh, 660 AD and we've not really discovered a lot of the world, so need to, what does this do as well? Oh, great, it allows us to embark across oceans, which is exactly what I need, because then I can get through these sea tiles as well. Uh, you might as well build me a mine. Caravan, do we have any city-states that require a quest for such trade routes? Nobody. Okay, so it's basically a case of sending it where we will get more science. So everywhere here will give us four sites. Who gives us the most money? So you might as well go back to Casablanca. That will give us the most money. And it keeps us with four sites. So away you go. Because we need science. We need to catch up. Um, that's done. Observatory. Go ahead. Build. Now. 16 turns. That seems like quite a long time. Uh, 13 turns. That seems like a shorter time. Uh, what are we going to do next? Navigation. Do we want navigation? Not really something that we require at the moment. Although getting scientific theory would be good and public schools. So we could kind of work towards that. But getting more production actually is probably going to be key next. So let's try and head that way and then we'll come back across for scientific theory. We might even get fertilizer as well at the same time. So first off, 
machinery, faster movement on road, so that's kind of beneficial. Four turns, we don't actually... We, no, we don't actually need machinery, it's not on our path. What else here? Defensive pact. Okay, well, we get physics. We get physics first. Have we set... Oh, we, oh no, yeah, that's right, you're building Oxford University there. That's fine, that, that's good to have. And then we will build um, an observatory there, that's fine. I've got no problem with being built in that order. Sophia and Persia allies, are you? Sophia and Persia sound like the names people would give to their cats. Sophia! Persia! Come! Dinner! Kippers! Uh, borders of Akkad have grown. Good for you, Akkad. Uh, Babylon has grown as well. Fantastic. So, up to 10 population there. That jumped, that took a turn off the Oxford University. What are you working at? It's because you're working this mine over here. Probably uh, the better move is to work the mine. There's nothing else that's particularly great. Gives me a bit more gold, a bit more faith that I don't really need, but there you go. Uh, and yeah, that seems all pretty good. Yep, yeah, we'll leave things as they are there. Next turn. Bit of a quiet period. We're making decent money. Happiness could do a little bit of a boost, but we've obviously got more important things to worry about just yet. Just at the moment. Uh, stupid spam, Warwick. Uh, Zurich requests a road. Um, where is Zurich again? It's not, it's not a million miles away. I just don't really have the f a free um, a spare worker because they kind of need to be improving tiles. So you've improved that. And you're building that road today. Or maybe you can actually continue that road down. So we are working, every tile that we are working here has actually been improved, right? Actually, that hasn't been improved because we haven't got a work boat there. Would it be worthwhile? Well, no, not yet. Uh, so you, in essence, are actually free to build that road down to Zurich. Uh, okay, yeah, your population is not going to go up. And if it does anytime soon, and if, when it does, we can always stick it into the university. So, yeah, that's what we'll do there. Get that quest. You have completed this road, have you? Fantastic. Uh, don't know what to do with you now. Akkad, are you working any tiles that... Oh, Akkad's pretty much done as well. Hmm. Not really sure. Um, you know what, you might as well just... Might as well move back up here to uh, and just finish off that farm and a few other bits and bobs. What happened here? The ivory from Genghis Khan has ended for the silver. Alright, so yeah, our happiness has dropped massively. Dyes, citrus, and wine. So if we could get one of those, that would be kind of handy. If you, everyone wants everyone wants silver, it seems. Okay, so Razimir. Not Razimir, Casimir. Sorry, i got Razimir on the brain there. You don't have anything that you can give. You've got ivory, but uh, what about you? No one's got, like, spare of what I want. You, yeah, I mean, you've got salt and the like, but not what I want. I want dyes, I want, uh, this is quite frustrating. Well, we, we might be able to get sort of like a swap, straight swap for one of those. Trail, not the clear war. So if you give me um, salt, no, sorry, citrus, and I give you silver, no, what would make this deal work? So three gold per turn and cotton and iron and open borders. I feel like you're trying to mug me off here a little bit, man. Um, I'll give you some gold per turn, though. I'll give you two gold per turn. How about that? Yeah. Alright, well, fuck you then, man. That's all I can say to you. Go fuck yourself. Persia? Uh, you don't actually have anything that I, but my cities want. Genghis? Uh, dyes. I do want dyes. Uh, everyone wants this the same deal. I don't want to do that deal. What about if I gave you four gold per turn? How would that work for you? Alright, well, no to you then as well. What about you? Malok King. Give me your citrus. Come on. Everyone wants the stupid deal. Alright. What about if I gave you that deal? Hmm. 
Dang you, we're like friends, man. Come on, help help a brother out. Can you actually don't have anything that I need. Hmm. And you. This is all rather depressing. All right, well, we'll just have to sell it for money then. Oh no, he doesn't want it because he's got it himself. Okay. Uh, uh, I might as well then trade it back to you for ivory. Keep our uh, happiness up. What's happened here? City connection established. Yep, good. Yeah, that's all done. Okay. Continue. Oh. Come back up. Oh, I'm just running all over the place. You need to befriend some of these city states. That's the issue. That'll give me some stuff that I need. Ramses has become a threat to the stability of the world. Um, I don't know where he is compared to uh, elsewhere, but I haven't got an actual issue with this. No, I don't really have an interest in it now. I don't know where Ramses is. Oh, he is near him, so it would have been nice if they had actually fought each other. Hopefully he'll still fight him anyway. Maybe I should have just accepted, because he's so far away. Might ask him. Bribe him, he might want to do it anyway. Because I'm not sure if he will do it if I don't. Trade. Uh, where is it? Declare war. Two gold per turn. No. I'll give you I'll give you four gold per turn though. I don't want to give you that. I'll give you I'll do that though. Three gold per turn. I mean, he might well do it anyway, but... Four gold per turn. How about that? You know what? Actually, just fuck it. I'm going to give you five gold per turn, and you can have some open borders. No? Six? Alright, well, fuck you then. Hopefully he does it anyway. Choose research. Uh, gunpowder. Yep, we will go to gunpowder. You start making that road down to Zurich. Oh, no, we're, no, we're actually going to be able to make it because these pricks are just going to keep blocking me off. Right, we'll see how far we can make it. Next turn. What was that, Isabel? I didn't see what that was. Was it Isabel and someone are no longer at war or are at war? Or did something? I don't know. Doesn't really matter. We've got our observatories coming, and that's what's key. We're going to see the stars. We've almost got Oxford University as well. Hopefully it could be a very productive episode, this. Get our science boost massively. Uh, losing grasp on Antwerp. I didn't actually realise I had a grasp on Antwerp. There we go, Mr. Scout. Go on, have a little look around. Antwerp. What do Antwerp want? Most technologies. We might be able to catch that up, though, just because we're going to get a free technology when we get Oxford University and we're sort of researching stuff which doesn't need a lot of turns to research so it's kind of helping us out we'll see how that works and what do you want a, a natural wonder as well which unfortunately well I might do now I've got that scout out going having a look he might discover something which will give me a bit of a boost no we're friends we're not that big a friend alright I think we're going to enter a bit of a bit of a period of just sort of consolidating what we have, trying to increase that science. Because once we once we get through this science building phase, then we'll see where we stand, how quickly we can gain on science, and then I'll have to make decisions as whether to go to war or not, and you know where we're going to go, how we're going to catch up. We need a bit more money as well, because we're going to need to start getting research agreements as well. But that's all coming. There's stuff that we can research to get money. Khmer Mare's made the leading tower of Pisa. Khmer Mare's a bit of an issue. I could do with Casimir probably attacking him. He's the nearest to him. I could actually do with being friends with Casimir as well, because he could help me twofold. He could help me by fighting Khmer Mare, and he could help me uh, with fighting against England as well. So actually, he's probably someone who I should target to become buddy-buddy with. Um, yeah, what's your... I suppose I could offer him... Hmm. Let's do a bit of discussion. Shall we make a joint declaration of friendship? Okay, no probs. What about... Shall we declare war against uh, Isabel? Uh, not Isabel. Um, Elizabeth? No, okay. 
All right, well, don't worry, we'll, we'll, we'll think about something at some stage. We'll adopt a policy. Ah, uh, what do we want to get? What do we want to get? Oh, no, rationalism. Yes, that's what we need instantly. So we will adopt rationalism. Fantastic. What does you get just by adopting adopting rationalism? We'll give you a 10% science boost while the Empire is happy. Okay, good. So we just boosted our science by 10%. That's very good. You've built a mine. Uh, go and build another mine. Actually, I don't know what... Is there anything really for you to build? Oh, you've got a mine over here that you could build. Go over there. You might as well build another farm. Our caravan has returned. Again, there is no one who wants a uh, quest for that. Who do we send him to? Well, Casablanca would give us the most... M oh, no, it would actually give us the most money. London would, and it gives us four science, so that seems to be the place where we should send it. But again, more science is good science. Oh, hello, Ormus. There we go. Come here, Mayor's buddies with everyone. It's ridiculous, not even near him. Damn Kamehameha and his friendliness, protecting all these city-states. Who does he think he is, the Lord Protector over here? Hmm. Key period of the game, this. Get those observatories up. Yes, okay, Oxford University is going to be done. It's going to be done. Okay, Okay, we lost a spy. That's quite annoying. Um, our happiness is only at one, so we've got a few issues. Um, built that farm. Uh, we're going to piss off Ormus for a turn, but that'll be fine. Choose a free tech. Okay. What technology is the furthest away in terms of hammers? So that would cost us 250. Oh, sorry, no, science. What am I talking about? 860. I think it's going to be, yeah, 1,000. Yeah, of course, it, it's going to be navigation. So we will take navigation. It would have been nice if it would have been something a bit more useful for us, but it does get something out of the way like that. Your spy agent has been killed by a Polynesian counter spy, which is rather annoying. Probably going to be a little bit pissed off of us about that. So we do have the Oxford University. Next up, it is an observatory, though. That's good. So our science is pretty good, and we're going to get, uh, as I said, a... 50% science boost, so we're going to be up over 100 here in science for Babylon, so good times. Good times indeed. Yeah, just checking. So yeah, all, all, all fine there. Um, I swear not to spy on you anymore. I'll just say that. I don't plan on spying, and we can spy on someone else. When you're so far behind, you don't necessarily have to spy on the, uh, on the actual guy who's the tech leader. You, know, you can spy on the second place guy or the third place guy. You're still going to be all right. Yeah, I know I'm trespassing enormous. We will rectify that fairly soon. As soon as this turn ends, actually. There we go. We're not we're not spy, uh, trespassing anymore, are we? Akkad has grown, and that's messed us up in terms of happiness. And because we're all building these observatories, I do need some sort of happiness building. I don't have the money for it. There's no building, there's nowhere I can like buy a building that gives me happiness. Oh, Colosseum, how much was it? I didn't see it, it was quite expensive I think. 500 gold, so yeah, that is pretty expensive. And I don't have anything to trade, so we're probably going to drop into negative happiness pretty soon, which is rather frustrating. Rather frustrating indeed, although we are going to get a couple of things pretty soon here. Could maybe tell all my cities to stop growing for the time being. That might be a move to do. You keep doing that. I don't want to drop into negative happiness, but I suppose it's a little bit unavoidable. Well, four turns, eight turns. Not too bad. I'm going to tell Durkas at this place to, to stop growing, basically. Just for a second. Oh, Genghis has declared war on Darius. Okay, I would have rather you declared war on Ramses, but alright, you do what you see fit. <laughs> uh, build that mine. Just come back up here. I so say you did spam a little. Oh shit, you know, I need to be careful there that they don't actually get those gems before. Actually, that's what I can do. I've completely forgot about this, so boom. We'll buy another tile. Instantly buy that, so we can get these gems. We don't have gems, yeah, so that will give us an extra luxury resource. Forget about doing that. Come over here. Hook that up. That gives us our happiness back. 
Hello? All good. So yeah, that'll, that'll keep us ticking on happiness for the time being, once we hook that up. And then, next objective is definitely going to be to build some Colosseums in Akkad in, Dur in City Number 3. You know what I'm talking about. Because then we can get, obviously, some more happiness, which is what we're going to need if our cities are going to continue to grow. And then we're going to have to we have to look to see what we can do after that. Gunpowder, excellent. Just drop you into here. Oh, hello. Another city still. Again, ally to Polynesia. They're best friends with everyone. Buddy buddies. Uh, do we want to get chemistry to boost our production? Yeah, that's kind of what we were beelining for. Although saying that, hold on. It, it could be more beneficial. How much longer is this two turns remaining? Okay, so... Probably more better just to get chivalry, get that out of the way. That'll put us level. Hopefully it'll give us a bit of a boost anyway with Antwerp as well. So we will get one, you know, if we're level with the tech leader here, so that'll give us nine each. Unless they're one turn away from doing something. Which we'll find out. Genghis Khan has become a nuisance. Um, I'm happy to do it this way because people are going to dislike Genghis anyway, even though I'm friendly with him. I don't really care, so... Although we do have that deal with him, don't we, where we're getting... Give me 10 turns to prepare. I'm happy to do this, but like we've got that trade in place where we're getting, we're trading him a luxury for one of... Or are we? No, we just sold that. Oh, no, I could have done it straight away. Ah, it doesn't matter. We can wait 10 turns. It's fine. Not in a super rush. For some reason, I, I forgot. I thought I traded him, what was it, cotton... Uh, what, ivory for my uh, silver. But I didn't actually end up doing that, I don't think. Well, actually, what would probably be best is if I just checked. No, I don't have a... Uh, oh. Chivalry. Oh, no, I am doing that deal. Yeah, so it was good that I didn't jump in, because I would have... Uh, I think that would have been reneged on, or it would have stopped being, and I would have dropped into negative happiness. Or unhappiness, as some people like to call it. Um, okay, now go on to chemistry. So, that should put us... So far, you have the lead with nine, yeah, so that will give us a bit of a boost with Antwerp, which is good. Uh, you are... get there. There we go, you can start building that. Oh, crap, have they got a Barbarian? Oh, they should... the Barbarian can't get to us, and they should kill the Barbarian with their city the next turn, so that's fine. Yeah, there we go, all gone. Look at them spamming a city out here. They got another city there. All right, okay, so their empire's kind of coming around here. I'm actually going to have to. I might actually get a little bit involved in this war. I've been informed that my empire has uh, commenced an attack on Zurich. I assure you, this is not on purpose. Um, you will pay for this because we're not going to be buddies anymore. I can't believe they're attacking Zurich. Would it be in my interest to take a city over here? Because it does have spices, and it's kind of near enough. I mean, I. What else would it get? It would get bananas. Because I'm going to be in a war against him. Yeah. It would give me spice. I'll have to consider that. I've got a bit of time. I need some catapults. I think I've got enough troops to sort of be able to fend off. I'm going to actually start to move some of my troops, though, down this way, just in case he decides to get a bit dickish with me. I'll move you, and we'll move our other composite bowmen down this way as well. There we go. Uh, Alright, so we got a bit of... Is that from the just having the diamonds in our territory or something like that? Right? Where did we get this two boost of happiness? Well, I'm not going to complain. It's all good. Our observatory is almost done, so we will just drop another guy in there. That's going to be fine. Yep, superb. So we're almost going to get a great scientist as well very shortly. I think we're going to put a cut in this episode at the end of this next turn. Yeah, okay. That'd be actually a good time. I might, yeah, I'll, I'll jump another turn as well, just so we've got everything. No, my friend. No, actually, I should have maybe tried to... No, we don't have a declaration of friendship. I was going to say I could have charged him a load of, word of money for it, and then it would have ended very soon. Riga, nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, actually, I will wait another turn I think after this just before ending it just so we've got all of these uh, observatories built excellent choose production it is going to have to be a coliseum very quickly we do need some more happiness because we are kind of on the edge uh, you come over here 
You've built that farm, have you? You might as well just jump up there and build that farm. Can we get through here? No, we can't actually get through here. I'm moving back and forth like a crazy man. And who's this? This is our composite bowman. So you come over here onto that hill and hit next turn. Then once we've done that, got all our science. So that's, that's good. That's a big, massive boost we're going to see towards our science. So as you can see there, our science is 155 per turn. What's it going to be after this next turn, though? The deal ended as well. Declaration of Friendship has expired in Morocco. We'll renew that as soon as we can. And we got a great person as well. Okay. So our science is boosted up to 184. Very nice. Very nice indeed. You... Oh, wait. Hold on. I, don't, I would like to upgrade you, but... Kind of need to do this first. So discuss... Joint declaration. Excellent idea. Good. Trade. We already have a research agreement in place. I forgot about that. That's fine. But that gives me the opportunity then to upgrade here to rifleman. Fantastic. Composite bowman. You just go and hang out here. You can go on alert. Uh, Louis Pasteur. Okay. That'll give us one foul. How much are we away from getting it? So we're about. I'll put us right on the brink, actually, so that's kind of handy. Discover technology. Good, so we've got chemistry. That's going to boost our production all over the place, which is fantastic. What shall we build next? Could build an artist guild. That could be kind of handy, but I kind of want more money. Uh, a mint would be a good, because we've got quite a bit of silver here. Mm, yeah. Get a bit more gold that way. Market, obviously, handy as well. Uh, I I think we're going to go with, we'll go with the mint first, then we'll build the market. Akkad, you are going to get on a Colosseum, because again, we want that happiness. And let's just quickly choose our research. So should we go fertilizer as well? Not in a super rush to get that, but we're going to start to double back this way and try and get things up. Okay, banking would be probably quite handy. It gives us an extra trade route and we do need it. It is on the route to get to scientific theory. So we're going to go for banking. A uh, friendship has expired. Yeah, we sorted that out. Unit needs. There we go. Go over there. Uh, okay, our caravan. Established trade route. It's going to be with there. That gives us the most gold and the most science. And that's going to be it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. It's my first one back, uh, obviously, after a week's filming, so just sort of like get, getting back into things. Uh, I think it was a quite a productive episode. Obviously, we got a bunch of uh, observatories up. Our science output is boosted. We got, obviously, a great person as well, which is really nice to give us another bit of a science boost. Got some production boost as well from, what was it, chemistry? Can't even remember what it was now. It was only <laughs> about two minutes ago. But, yeah, that boosted our production in all cities, which is also very handy. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next episode where hopefully we will continue to build our civilization and catch up with the rest. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.